In our siege scenario, tensions are starting to rise within the camp. Shut up! This is when the negotiator's skills are put to the test. Hello, Tajik. How can I help? By now, the terrorists will be highly suspicious, knowing that an attack on them may be imminent. No, we know you are watching us. We know you are making plans. There is only one important person. The others we discussed. The negotiator must remain calm and helpful, projecting a neutral persona, avoiding confrontation and trying to establish a positive rapport. The whole situation is very serious, and you have to understand that I'm doing all in my power to, to try and resolve this peacefully. That's ultimately what I want. I just want a peaceful conclusion to this. Meanwhile, the situation is being constantly monitored by the command team. Sophisticated surveillance equipment will allow them to observe movements and conversations whilst infrared and thermal imaging systems mean that the scene can be observed 24 hours a day. Snipers will have been in position for some time, gathering intelligence and constantly reporting every minute development. However, at any moment their role could change dramatically. The sniper has a myriad of responsibilities in a hostage scenario. As well as observing and relaying crucial intelligence, they will be covering the movement of all personnel and preventing terrorist escape attempts. During an assault, they will be constantly monitoring the team's progress and report any new hazards or terrorist activity. White 1-8 with a balaclava on, identified, carrying along. When the time comes, they will be ready to dispense a precisely aimed shot wherever necessary.